right, Chris, thank you. And now to the latest developments in the state fair tragedy. Hospital officials say the death of a seventh victim is now imminent. Megan Toothman was critically injured during that stage collapse, and her family said today the 24-year-old from Cincinnati was going through organ procurement surgery this afternoon. Also today, the state fair said attendance was down 8%. 872,000 visitors this year, 952,000 people went last year. And the family of Glenn Goodrich filed a tort claim notice against the state today. That's the first step in filing a lawsuit. The security guard was killed when the rigging collapsed on August 13th. And now the cost of a life. Seven people have now died, others hospitalized with critical injuries more than a week after that rigging collapsed. For family members of victims without spouses or dependents, the state of Indiana caps the amount of money they can receive at $300,000. Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Brilliant explains why some families won't see a dime of that money. Just over a week after she was critically injured, Megan Toothman became the seventh victim to die as a result of the state fair stage collapse. Without a spouse or children, under Indiana law, the 24-year-old's family will be entitled to a maximum of $300,000 for medical and funeral expenses and, quote, loss of love and companionship. It's harsh. It's discriminatory. It's unfair. Personal injury attorney Bruce Kehoe, who does not represent any of the state fair victims, says there should be no maximum amount. As a parent, you can have a child go all the way through college and they graduate and the measure of your, of your loss is capped at $300,000. That's, that's seemingly unconscionable. Indiana law will prevent some of the victim's relatives from receiving any compensation at all. That's because in at least one case, the state does not recognize that the victim was married. Well, I don't know that I'll have feeling in that foot. Beth Urschel, who was injured in the collapse and whose life partner, Tammy Van Dam, was killed, filed suit last week. We had so many plans and things we wanted to do. And this was her birthday weekend. I was taking her down to see her favorite band. And even though the two were joined in a civil union in Hawaii 10 years ago, Urschel won't be able to collect damages as a spouse because Indiana does not recognize same-sex marriage. Good girl, and we just want to send out all our, our love to her family. And while Parker City native Jennifer Haskell was 22, without a spouse or children, her family could be entitled to up to $700,000. And that's because since she was still in school and under 23 years old, she is considered a child, so her parents are entitled to greater compensation. With that said, total compensation from the state cannot exceed $5 million, so when the investigation is complete, in addition to Indiana, many private companies will likely be sued. Jeremy Brilliant, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. All right, Jeremy, thank you. And we continue to follow developments in the State Fair tragedy. Tonight at 6 o'clock, what we've learned about the kind of impact that Megan Toothman made with students at her former high school. Three weeks now until the 10th anniversary of 9-11, and organizers here in central Indiana are hoping...